most excited about for the future of lions? I'm most excited about our digital technology, our ability to use my lion to bring 1.5 million lions around the world together to increase our service impact. And the way that it's going to impact it, us with the My Lion is it's going to help us with the communication. And we're going to have chats. We're going to be able to put our service projects on there. We're going to invite the world to help us to do more than we've ever done before as we strive to serve 200 million people per year. And I'm excited today to have two young lions, Michael Middleton and Catherine Middleton, with me. And they, Michael is a member, the president of his club and they are the future of our association as we're going to strive to see the power of we in the coming year. So I want to know from you much younger members of Lions, what are you doing to sort of evolve and change Lions to make it more aggressive for the future? Absolutely. So we're actually trying to really outreach digitally to reach younger audiences as well. So we have our district and local club web pages that we're trying to keep up to date as well as possible to get the message out to individuals that are in the millennial generation like my sister and I, trying to get us uh, more connected uh, and actually more aware of just the amazing work that Lions do around the world every day. So what have you found has been the most effective technique for getting new members, right? In terms of like how you're reaching out, how you're telling your story, what do they get most excited about? I think using social media platforms like Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook really meet millennials and the younger generation where they're at. So coming, kind of coming to them at their own turf really gets people involved at their own level. Michael, one of the things that I had heard from other Lions members is that the younger Lions do not want to go to a lunch meeting. They'd rather just go out and do it. Is that true? Absolutely. I think the greatest way that you can get young people and the younger generations more involved is instead of inviting them to your local uh, average monthly or weekly meeting whenever you meet, Instead, invite them to a service project, ask them, hey, can you help us pack these, these food trucks? Or can you help us sort these glasses? Get them, get them excited about what we're actually here to do. We're not actually a club about meeting every month or every whenever. We're a club about humanitarian service. So as long as you get that message out there of, hey, get involved with us, the joining the club and coming to the regular meetings, that will happen naturally. And Catherine, what has been the one service project that got you most excited about Lions to like, oh, I'm staying? I think cleaning the glasses and seeing them go out across the world, really you're involved in every level of it from packing them to cleaning them to learning how to read eyeglasses too. So being involved at so many levels and seeing the impact that it makes firsthand I think really got me excited about Lionism. And that's what drives them to, to stay because if they don't see the impact, you know, what, what impact am I making? Exactly. That's the whole point. Like, being able to see that one pair of glasses can actually, seeing the eyes opened and actually seeing that child see their mother for the first time, the, the experience is indescribable and it brings tears to anyone's eyes that's actually been a part of it. I highly recommend it. Jerome, when you hear these stories, are you, are you buoyed on the future of Lions and you're like, all right, it's in capable hands, I don't need to worry? Oh, I'm excited about the opportunity to pass the torch on to another generation because Lions bring smiles. We serve, we bring in more members, we involve our members, we develop leadership skills, and we expand into new communities. And as we do that, the future of Lions is in great hands with these young people who are moving us forward. Thank you.